Hello, everybody. Welcome to the nail room. Um, I am going to put on another set of Halloween nails. And um, I did take off the other ones. I just didn't video that. Um, they came off very easily. Um, as you know, I usually... Um, I usually take them off. Sorry, I've got something in the way here that I'm trying to maneuver around. Okay. Um, I usually take my nail strips off um, after a shower. That's what I did a couple of days ago, and they came off very easily. Um, if you saw my other video, you know that uh, that particular set was a little problematic um, putting them on. I had a couple of issues, but um, in the end, it, it wasn't so bad. I mean, they, they lasted just fine. Um, I did have a couple of chips here and there, but I knew that I wasn't going to be wearing them for long. So it honestly, it just didn't even bother me. Um, so we're going to put these on. These are also a non glitter. This is spider candy. Um, really, really cute. And they do glow in the dark. So, um, we'll get started. See how cute they are. They're really, really cute. Um, so I hope everybody's having a fantastic week. Um, it is Thursday night. As you can see, I just got out of the shower. Um, so let's go ahead and see how these work. Um, I will be, okay, this one doesn't want to rip. There it goes. Um, I will be sometime... Probably the latest, it'll be Thanksgiving weekend, that I start to put in um, Christmas orders. Now, the Christmas um, the Christmas strips did restock, and they're actually already out of stock. Look at how cute they are. I'll give you another look at those. Mm, I can smell the nail polish. Um, so, I will be doing a, um, a Christmas order... Like I said, probably Thanksgiving weekend, I'm thinking. Um, so if there's anything, I won't, you guys go to the website. If there's any Christmas strips that you're interested in, even if it's out of stock, um, send me a message or um, leave me a comment or just post or something. Let me know somehow if you're interested in particular ones and I will try to snag those. Um, and as always, if you're going to order four sets or more, just order them from the website. Um, shipping will work out much better for you that way. Um, unless you're somebody that I see on a regular basis and that I would be able to deliver them to you, then maybe it wouldn't. Uh, shoot, I should have moved this over. All right. Well, we're going to deal with that. We're just going to deal with how adorable this is. This is so cute. Yeah, sorry, that's blurry. It's blurry. It doesn't want to cooperate. All right, well, you'll see it at the end for sure. Um, and after Halloween is over, I will be doing, I'm not sure how soon, to be honest with you. Um, because I have a set that I want to do an overlay with, um, and, uh, I really want to do that for Thanksgiving. Um, I did not get any of the fall slash Thanksgiving, uh, nail strips. Um, I just decided not to do that. Um, so I won't be using that. I have something else that I want to do. Um, and I would prefer to do it closer to Thanksgiving, but I might go ahead and just do it in the beginning of November and then reapply them because I should be able to get two manicures out of one set. So, and you ladies already know how I do this. Oh my. Okay. Okay. I'm going to have to touch that up a little bit, but, oh, that's really, really cute. Yeah. Okay. These need a little bit of filing, so I will 
get to that momentarily. It's really cute. I might have to... Mm, yeah, that's kind of blurry, isn't it? All right, well, we'll, we'll, we'll get to it. We'll get to it. Um, so, um, I don't really know if I had anything else to discuss with you guys. I can't remember. Ugh. As always, I cannot remember which ones I use on which nails because I'm so goofy like that. I think this one goes on that nail and this one might go on that nail. Let's do that. Let's see what happens. So these plastic strips on top, the clear plastic, they can be kind of a booger head. So, but I know this one clearly is coming off, but sometimes for whatever reason, there's like a double layer or something. And if that second layer, if you don't notice it, your, your strips won't stick. Um, it happened to me once and I couldn't figure it out. And as I was trying to rub the nail on this plastic strip kept coming off and I thought there was something wrong with the strip itself. No, that wasn't the case. It was just leftover plastic strip covering strip on it. So I was able to get that off and then I was able to use the strip. So, um, anyway, now I gotta say you ladies know that I am not a huge fan of the non glitters so far. These really are not, they're not giving me a problem. Um, and I'm kind of liking them. And I might leave these on all the way to Halloween or I might take them off and put on another set or I might mix a set because there's, there's some really cool strips. You guys have seen my Halloween strips and if you haven't go to the albums and check them out. Um, but there are some cool ones that I can definitely do some mixing and I'm kind of thinking I might do that. So I'm just not a hundred percent sure yet if I'm going to take these off and then do like a mixed set for Halloween. Cause you know me, I get, I get to a point where like after several days I have not, I don't leave strips on more than a week and a half. Um, sometimes it's like five days later, I'm going, okay, I'm done. <laughs> it's just, it's just me. It's not, it's not the strips. It's just me and my crazy anxiety and all that. Okay. So we're taking that off. These are really super cute. Okay. I do have to do some, some filing and still some smoothing. So... All right. And if you are interested in Halloween strips and you're somebody that I see on a regular basis or you're close enough to me that I can get them to you, um, let me know if there's any in the albums that you want. Um, and we'll, you know, we'll work something out. Uh, you know, otherwise I wouldn't be able to ship to anybody because it's just too close and I can't guarantee it for Halloween. So, okay, I am going to go ahead and turn this off. I didn't realize these were exactly the same strip. I should have, oh, I should have alternated the, the hand. Oh, man. Now, there you go. I just made what could be considered a mistake. So I probably should have put the web from this hand onto this hand. And I didn't because I'm so used to doing the left first and then the right. So when you have designs like this that are, well, this one's not a super good example, but let's see. Okay. So when you have a design like this, something similar to this, where you've got one thing on the top and one thing on the bottom, and you're going to use that for two nails, 
yeah, you should probably alternate the nails, especially if you've got another one that's exactly like it, like I just did. Okay, well, live and learn, right? I got to pay attention. So, all right, I'm going to pause this and go ahead and get the rest of them on. And, um, and then I'll show you the finished product. Hello, almost done. I've got these eight done. We're doing the thumbnails now. So I thought I'd turn it back on and let you guys join me. Um, so, okay. So this one has the spider web. I'm going to put that on my right hand. Um, and I am going to use this trick. I'm going to take the white backing and just lay that on there like that. So it overlaps so that I have an easier time getting it on my nail. Especially when I'm trying to do the right hand because I have to use my left, it makes it way easier for me. Um, it's just another little trick. Um, I've showed you guys that before. So I will say one of these nails, this one, I had a little bit of overlap and I don't know if you can see on this side where I tried to trim it down and it's, it's actually exposing the nail a little bit there, but not a big deal. I mean, I can see it because I'm right on top of it, but yeah, sometimes when you're trying to trim with the cuticle stick, how I showed you, you go on the side, um, sometimes it can take more off than what you intended, but it's just, you know, it is what it is. It takes some practice and, you know, worst case scenario, like if it really bothers you, if you mess one up, you just take out another one. Cause you, if you're doing two nails with one strip, it shouldn't be an issue to just take out another one and start it again, basically. So, all right, so we're going to put this little spider on this thumb. Okay, this one might not work. It might be too short. Maybe if I take it just a little bit up. Nope. Hmm. Okay. This may not work because the other nail was longer than this one. All right. Yeah, that is not going to work. Um, See, there is way too much nail exposed at the tip. So, yeah, we're not going to be able to use that. We'll just get rid of that. Whoops. And we will use, let's use this one. See if that, that should work. All right, so we're going to use this little guy. It's a good thing that 18 strips come in these sets because you have a lot of options and I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm just going to tack that on there real quick. It doesn't even have to be perfect. Um, it really does just help sort of line things up and then, oh yeah, that's fine. So I don't know if you can hear all that nonsense that's going on in the, on the TV in the other room. Paul, I don't know. He's doing something out there. He's watching some kind of crazy YouTube videos. These kids that watch videos of other people playing video games. I don't know. I mean, I guess that can be fun because I sometimes will enjoy watching my sons play video games, but I don't know if I would really enjoy watching somebody I don't know play them. I don't know. Whatever. But, and I mean, if you're learning how to play something or whatever, like that's cool, but they just watch them and watch them. 
So, okay. Trying to get these back in here so I can tape it up. Okay, so I'll be able to tape this up. We'll be taping that to reseal it and use another time. Um, Rachel actually wanted to try this set. This is the set that she wanted to put on. Um, but she hasn't showed an interest again and I, I don't push her too much. So, um, I'm kind of hoping that I can get, that I can get some on her again soon. She did enjoy, I had put just a set on that I had a couple of different, um, leftovers. So I used those on her and she did enjoy them. Um, she didn't want me to take them off though. So I encouraged her to take them off, even if it just meant that she chipped at them to take them off. Um, cause, and she left them on for a full week. No, almost two weeks. It was two weeks. I'm sorry. She left them on longer than I left mine on. I can tell you that, but that was like, I don't know, a month or so ago. But anyway, at some point I will show you, um, how to put them on, uh, a child's nails. Um, she has, she has, uh, pretty much no nails. <laughs> She's there. They're all the way down, like down, down, down. Um, but I can show you that it is possible to do that. Um, so, all right. I think they are good. Um, now I have a mess, a little nail mess. But it's not super messy, just a little bit. No biggie. So here they are. They're really, really cute. Aren't they really cute? And they do glow in the dark. So when I'm done with this video, I'm going to go ahead and um, get a picture of them um, in the dark, glowing in the dark, and I will post that. So yeah, these are really cute. I do wish that I had remembered to put this one on the other finger on the other hand, but I didn't. So it is what it is. And here comes my other son playing something on his phone and he's probably not going to turn it down or mute it. So yep, here he comes. He's coming. Oh, look at that. He actually turned it down. Oh, it wasn't. I was blaming my other son. It was actually my daughter. Okie dokie. Um, so yeah, at some point, hopefully soon, I will definitely, um, show you, um, me putting them on Rachel's nails. Um, so, all right, guys, I think that's it for now. Aren't they cute? I will be posting pictures as I always do of how adorable these are. Um, so that is it for now. Have a fantastic weekend, everybody. Um, and if I do decide to take a couple of sets and mix them together and do like a whole nother manicure before Halloween, I will definitely show you that. And I think that's going to be it for now. Thank you so much for joining me. And, um, if you're seeing this video on Facebook, thank you so much for being here. Uh, thanks for being a part of my group. And if you're seeing this on YouTube, uh, go join my Facebook group the uh, links to the Facebook group and the uh, website will be in the description below. So go ahead and click on that and come on over and join us. Um, that is it for now, ladies. I will, sorry, <laughs> I will see you real soon. Have a fantastic weekend. Bye.